Good evening, YouTube. I uh, just wanted to give you guys, uh, anybody paying attention to all this diet stuff, a uh, follow-up and um, an update on how things are going. So, um, let's see, I think before, you know, I, I started all this um, water fasting stuff in uh, May, I believe. And, uh, you know, then I stopped after uh, the eighth day is when I broke the water fast, lost a lot of weight from that. And then some weight came back as, you know, I filled up my body with food again and stuff and some water weight came back on and whatever and uh, let's see then it looks like back on the 17th of June I started a classic Atkins induction which I kept going for um, about nine days and uh, my plan as I discussed before was that you know I was doing a classic induction because my friend wanted me to do it that way without any modifications but eventually um, which I was just starting I was planning to take the Atkins induction and then start mixing it with uh, intermittent fasting, which was my idea for having uh, ketosis um, at the same time as having a calorie deficit and taking advantage of the, uh, the massive calorie deficit you could get from fasting um, compared to just you know eating whatever um, while on induction to uh, increase uh, fat loss as much as possible without actually water fasting. Um, However, um, here in Colorado Springs, we had that um, huge wildfire, the Waldo Fire, and on Tuesday, the 26th, you know, I decided to um, stop the induction diet because we were evacuated, and we went to stay with some family, and so um, I stopped the induction diet at that point so that I could, you know, drink beer with the rest of them and, you know, whiskey and stuff and just eat like normal instead of having my special diet while I was out of my home. So, and we were um, out of the house for about a week before we came back. And, um, you know, during that time, uh, and it was about another week before now, you know, today, where I'm starting something again uh, tomorrow. Um, I have planned something um, new, just uh, my ideas are constantly evolving. It's not really new, it's just an evolution of my previous ideas involving ketosis and fasting. Um, which I plan to start tomorrow because today I went to a wedding and so I just wanted to wait until after that was done before doing anything fancy with my diet, you know, and um, saying goodbye to uh, beer. <laughs> this is a uh, homebrew. And um, so the other night, um, okay, so results, you know, I started the, uh, the water fast. At the beginning of all this dieting stuff I started, I was 237 pounds. Um, which, yeah, that was a lot. Um, not quite the heaviest I've been, but, you know, um, too heavy, heavy enough to where I decided to take charge of things and start, um, you know, scientifically uh, and systematically getting uh, my body to where I want it to be. Uh, first, starting with fat loss, and um, then I'll focus on muscle building later because I've lost a lot of my previous muscle mass from when I was a personal trainer and in really great shape and stuff before. So, um... You know, after the water fast, I got as low as 217 on the water fast. And then, you know, after I broke that, um, you know, you always typically have about four or five pounds worth of stuff in your body and your digestive tract. So that came back as well as, you know, a little uh, additional water fluctuation stuff now that my um, digestive system was back online. Um, so I gained, you know, back about six to seven pounds or so uh, pretty much immediately. Um, then refed for a little while. Then over the induction thing, what I was finding with the induction, um, it took, and I did this um, a lot more carefully than the last time I did the induction diet back in 2003, which was also very successful for me. But back then, I remember just, um, it, it, I wasn't following the book very closely. You know, I was just eating as much meat and cheese and stuff as I wanted, which is a problem with induction, you know, because um, cheese and, you know, milk fats and stuff and nuts and everything have carbs in it which I really wasn't really paying attention to back then, but, you know, I was eating a lot of meat, you know, I would, like, cook, like, a pound of ground beef and put some cheese on it, or, like, a whole pack of brats and stuff like that. Um, I tried doing that this time, and I didn't respond as well to it. Um, I was still losing weight, but it took, like, uh, three days or so for me to start showing signs of ketosis, um, you know, from the ketone strips. Um, but for a long time, it was, uh, it was really light purple, and, um, you know, I wasn't really all that well hydrated, so... Ketosis was very slow um, with the with the induction compared to water fasting. Also, uh, water fasting was really really easy to keep track of my results because there were no random variables. You know, um, my digestive tract was empty. 
So I just, my calorie deficit, I just continued dropping off weight, just, you know, slid right off continuously. I, every time I stepped on the scale, it was less and less and less. But with the induction diets, eating uh, varied quantities of meat and various types of meat, you know, with various sodium contents and stuff, um, my calorie deficit, even though my insulin resistance was uh, very sensitive, or my insulin sensitivity was increased because of the lack of sugar in my system, and, uh, you know, supposedly, when you take in, you know, all that protein and stuff, and, you know, you don't really have any uh, insulin production going on because of the lack of glucose, um, your body just wastes all of the calories that you're taking in, you know, all the meat and stuff, and you don't really store it as efficiently, so you don't really have to worry much about a calorie deficit, apparently, you know, you don't really have to um, worry about how much you eat, you just focus on what you eat. I don't think that's entirely true. I think that's kind of a gray area in diet right now. And um, I was seeing that depending on the day, what I ate, um, my weight loss was fluctuating rapidly. And, you know, for a while I was keeping track of the calories I was taking in on fitday.com, you know, and like when I would eat like a, a pack of bacon or a pound of ground beef or something, that would work out to like, you know, way over a thousand calories, you know, um, every time I did something like that. And, um, on top of that, when you're dealing with these various meats and cheeses and things, you have a lot of sodium, and when you take in lots of sodium, and sometimes a little sodium, whatever, you have a lot of variance in, like, your water retention. So, like, my water retention was going up and down and up and down. So I was seeing, um, a lot of variance on the scale, you know, keeping track of my weight and my weight loss. You know, sometimes it was, it was gradually going down slowly, but instead of just a, a steady going down this looks backwards let me try it the other way this this is I didn't reverse the camera anymore I used to do that but instead of a steady going down like with the water fast it was a lot more fluctuation so it was harder to keep track of but um, what I eventually determined through the induction was that the calorie deficit is still important okay that's why that's why I came up with the idea of mixing an induction diet with intermittent fasting so that you still get a deficit so that, you know, you lose weight more on the calories that you're not getting in, you know, that you're burning more than you're taking in, instead of so much relying on the ketosis. Because I think the ketosis is a wild card. You can't really depend on how much fat you're going to burn from being in ketosis, but what you can depend on is calorie counting, okay? So, I came up with something to start tomorrow, that uh, instead of doing the intermittent fasting thing, which is a little more difficult as far as willpower goes, you know, eating one day and then not eating another day, then eating one day and then not eating, um, it's a lot easier, I found, with the water fast. Um, water fasting and not eating anything and just taking in water and coffee was easier than being very careful with this induction diet, you know, because of the structure. You know, if you know that you cannot eat anything, it's a lot easier to get by and having to be careful about this and being careful you don't slip up here and watching your calories and all this stuff. So I just designed something very, very structured. That's just going to be the same doldrum diet, day after day, with a massive calorie deficit, you know, uh, extremely restricted calories, um, with no fasting involved, while also on induction, which should keep me in a sufficient amount of proteins and fats and a little bit of carbohydrates to keep the glucose, you know, for the brain and everything uh, normal. And um, what I have factored for that is determining my base metallic rate, metabolic rate, and resting met metabolic rate for myself, a male, age 32, 5 foot 8, and my weight, which was uh, when I weighed it, uh, when I factored all this stuff together, uh, exactly 220 pounds. Um, a conservative estimate, estimate for my uh, metabolic rate is 2,700 calories a day. And uh, I say conservative because that is if I choose to be lazy and not go to the gym and exercise. So that's like mostly just being uh, sedentary and light activity through my job and stuff. Okay. So I've determined to um, have a diet of in the morning. Um, I went out and got some um, canned uh, chicken breast, lots of it, and just, you know, put it in a container so that I could split it up and eat a certain quantity of this stuff. You know, twice a day I'll have a certain quantity of certain foods. So, and like with the chicken, you know, I rinsed it out first to try to eliminate sodium because you want to keep sodium as down as much as possible so you have less fluctuation. But um, in the morning, I will have a half of a can, uh, which is six ounces, 
Um, measuring more by the ounces, not by the can. I just put all the cans in a single large Tupperware container after rinsing it. So anyway, six ounces of Tyson canned chicken, which is mostly white meat, I think, and that is uh, 180 calories. Um, in addition to that, I'll have my uh, those carbs in the morning, uh, which is two cups of spinach, which has practically no carbs in it, but it's got a lot of vitamins and minerals and you know some fiber and stuff. So uh, that adds on another 14 calories and two grams of carbs. Um, and with the spinach, I'll have a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is another additional uh, 119 calories. Um, and so that'll be the morning. In the morning, um, chicken meat, spinach with olive oil, certain quantity, certain calories. At night, after I come home from work, I, uh, I already started, I cooked up a bunch of uh, meat patties so that they're ready to go. So I'll have a four ounce um, beef patty of just uh, the cheap fatty meat, you know, 70-30. Uh, which is 328 calories with an ounce of shredded uh, cheese blend uh, melted on top of it which is another 105 calories so uh, that ends and that has another gram of carb in it as well so my total intake every day aside from what comes from vitamins and taking fiber drinks and stuff like that um, will be 746 calories and three grams of carbs which incidentally comes out to two dollars and 91 cents a day which you know food is expensive too but, um, so I just want to let you know, I'm going to get started on that tomorrow. It'll be the same thing every day, and uh, hopefully that will keep the uh, the weight loss on less of a, uh, what do you call it, less, not, not as much of a curve, but, um, I don't remember the term from poker, when it bounces all over the place, even though it's following a pattern, it's going to be a little more consistent and easier to keep track of, and uh, I'll be keeping track of the weight and everything tonight, even though I've been ranging lately from weighing uh, when I weigh in, because I've been doing it all over the day, 118 to 200, or uh, 218 to 222 pounds. I've been ranging between there. So tonight, after drinking beer and eating and everything, I weighed in at, uh, let's see, 221.6. So tomorrow, this is this is the, uh, the pre-diet um, stuff, and tomorrow I'll be starting day one of this... Uh, a specific uh, reduced calorie induction diet, I'll call it. So, all right, stay tuned.